before we import that data into 3D Office. I think I mentioned it before, it's going to project then options. And in here, you will probably have these default set. So you want to change your distances, obviously to meters, three decimal places, um, area and volumes, not that it really matters here, but I suppose it's nice to have everything in, in meters. And more importantly, your coordinates, just make sure you change them to east north elevation. So we're going to be working firstly in this tin tab. Tin is your triangulation, um, your surface tab. So into here, import tin from AutoCAD file. So the DWG or DXF you just saved. Um, alternatively, if you ever have any issue bringing that file, sort of file into 3D Office, just save it as um, land XML and you can bring it in, you can save it. Um, and enforce that way and just bring it in the, the same. See, I've got it here. Once the file is loaded, you can't export it yet. You see it's greyed out. It's because we need to go into the surfaces and actually select it from here, highlight it. Um, these settings here, this is an opportunity for you to rename it. What do you want it to be called when you go looking for it in the dozer? You can also turn the triangles on and off here, change the color of them. Do you want them to be visible? Yes or no. And I always just keep it on yes, and then you can this, you can play about with those features in the dozer. What you'll find is the driver that you're working with knows Kit so well, he'll probably do this him, him, himself. So highlight it, press OK. Back into tin export current tin surface and you want the tn3 file that's what the dozer's reading so we'll just call this um put a couple in here now cool so once that's in the dozer the driver's going to have one of two options he is either going to have to follow about this triangulation, which might not look too bad in this software, but in the dozer, it's going to be a real eyesore. Or he can turn off the triangulation, and it will basically be him just driving about with no view, which also isn't very good. Yes, he'll have his levels, but he'll sort of be driving around blind. So the main aim, as I mentioned before, is to make it as easy and as um, nice and straightforward for the driver as possible. And to do that, and we want to import some sort of line work, a visual for him or, or her. Um, so if we go to the line work, import line work from AutoCAD file, I'm basically just going to import the DXF that I was playing about with earlier, like the original file that you sent me that I then sort of messed about with and cleaned up, um, which was this stripped file. So if I open up that, which it didn't work, I'll tell you why. Basically, um, when you save it from here, you need to save as, like I've went over a couple of times, um, an older version, so you're sort of 2000, okay? Um, I did actually do that earlier, so if I go back into here, line work, import line work from AutoCAD file, um, 3D lines. That's why I renamed it earlier when the video stopped. So you see my lines now appear. Um, also, we didn't we didn't need this bit, but it will be actually quite good for the driver. Maybe when he's scooting about here, he, he can see where this pond area is, and he's obviously going to have his boundaries of the site. Um, again, this bit is going to be up to you whether you need it or not. So line work again. It won't allow us to export it, but similar to the triangulation, we need to highlight it. So just select all line work, and then we can go line work export um, to LN3 file. That's what the dozer is going to read. So put that in the USB. So USB into the dozer, um, I have a simulator here of it, it's slightly different to the Komatsu Intelligent that you're working with, but it's, it's 
more or less the same. I've got this um, sort of popcorn file button up here. Yours is more a, a black button that sits down here somewhere. So let's create a, a new project. Um, AP, so I don't duplicates. This box here that talks about control points, localization, and data, it, it doesn't matter for me really with my simulator, but you probably want to turn that off. Um, I know the dozer that you're working with was last on a job where they're using um, a local coordinate system, so it'll probably be an issue for you. So just turn that off and I'll, I'll talk you through settings. So once the job has been created, Go into your file, straight into control, and you want to go into projection. You'll probably start here, just scroll down until you find UKO, open that up, and then OSTN02, press OK. Then back into file, back into control, the same coordinate system. Um, if any of these are selected, just select known projection datum. It will default as ETRS89. Use geoid model. When you click on that, you'll have all two. I don't have it, so just select it and then press OK. Now to bring in the surface, so let's zoom out a bit. So there's my dozer. You can see it's a blank screen. So we'll go File, Surfaces, Import. We want to import what? Our TN3 file. Where from? Our D drive, which is reading our USB. And then we've got micro surface. Okay. Okay. So you'll see the screen's still blank. That's because we need to actually tell the dozer to activate that surface in case there was multiple ones in there. So we go file active surface, which is micro. So from here, let's go. So notice I still can't see the surface. So it's telling me something's not quite right, probably with my simulator um, control. So I'm going to go back into my control projection um, and just change it to UK. Okay. You just keep you keep yours on auto for for my simulator purposes. If I had to change it, so just ignore that. That last wee step, but you'll see here now that we have the triangulation. So before we created our line work, this is what the driver is going to be seeing on site. Um, so to improve it, go back into File, and then Layers. Layers will be your work. Import. What our LN3 file? Where from? Our D drive again? Our USB? Micro 3D lines. Add them. Do you want to show them? Yes. Um, and press OK. So now we have the line work. So from here, we can go View, Display Options, and go into the Working Surface. Show Triangle Mesh. Turn it off. OK. So now the driver is going to have this visual of the lines. So he, he's, he's happy with that. He can just work in, in between these, these lines. Um, what he can also do when they're in 3D, which is really handy, um, he can actually interact with the lines. So he can click on them on the screen, hold them down. He can then have his direction of travel, um, but he can click on the polyline and steer to it. You can also click on the line and you can display text so you can show his steering offset. So where he is right or left of, of the line. Um, it's actually offset to line, not steering offset. So now when he's on that line, it's showing him where he is on it, so he'll probably be matching that up until it says zero. It's, it's another check for him, depending on what, what views he looks at. So it's really handy to know that's the benefit of the line work for him. And of course, 
you can go back into file layers into your line work and change the color of them the red isn't isn't looking very clear you'll find your your driver will probably know all this um, uh, i've met the, the guy